Okay, so hey guys, it's Quinston and today we are going to talk about how to check if a number is a power of a particular base. What is a power and what is a base is the most obvious next question. A base could be a regular number, it could be 2, 3, 44 and 89, whatever. A, a power uh, is obtained when you multiply the base with itself n number of times where n could range from you know anywhere upwards of 2. For example, if 2 is your base, the power could be 4 because 2 times 2 is 4. It could also be 8 because 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. Also, just to be clear, uh, the power is a set of numbers and not just one number. Um, so it's a set of numbers. So this program basically checks if the power that you passed in is composed of the base that you passed in. There are multiple ways to do this. This is just one of them. Let's take a look at the code. Um, let's take an example. Now assume that you have uh, the power 8 and the base 2. The way the algorithm works is that you test if the power divides perfectly with the base. This means that you need to divide 8 by 2 and check if the remainder is 0. If the remainder is 0, it obviously means that the power is completely divisible by the base. But that does not mean that the power is a multiple of the base. They could just be numbers that are divisible by one another. So you need to get the quotient from the power divided by the base and test again until you have completely reduced the power to 1. Uh, we use the modulus operator in this case. Uh, let's take an example. 8 mod 2 gives us 0. Hence 2 is completely divisible by 8. Uh, getting the next power, 8 divided by 2 is 4. 4 divided by 2 or 4 modulus 2 gives us 0. Hence, 2 is completely divisible by 4. Next, 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 mod 2 gives us 0. Hence, 2 is completely divisible by 2. Um, next power is 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. If you get 1, this means that the power is a multiple of the base. Uh, if you do not get the remainder as zero at any of the conditions above, it means that the, the power is not a multiple of the base. Hence, you can just return whatever you want. Let's take a look at the code. Here is the main function that runs. It is called is power of base, nothing fancy. Now, it takes in two parameters. The first one is power which is basically the power and the second one is base. Um, now, if the power is 1, then you can return false as 1 is not a power of anything. 1 times 1 is 1. So you, you can't really achieve anything here. So the same argument goes for 0. Um, on top of that, uh, we are not dealing with negative numbers, which are also covered in this condition. Any number that is 1 and below 1 is automatically disqualified. Next, we, we basically check and run a loop, uh, as we did in the example, while power is not equal to 1. Uh, we use the value of power as our condition. Um, so while not power is equal to equal to 1 um, is, is the condition. Now, here we are basically checking if the number of if the power divides perfectly with the base. Um, the reason we need to check this is that if it does not divide perfectly, then the power is clearly not a multiple of the base. Hence, you return false. Um, we use the modulus operator in this case simply because the modulus operator gives us uh, the remainder. And uh, if the remainder is zero, it means that the divisor divides perfectly with the dividend. Um, now, uh, you know, to move to the next loop, uh, we need to change the value of power. We divide the power with the base and store the value in the variable power. Imagine this as the base being chipped away, as we saw in the example, from the power until nothing remains. The power is a multiple of the base and this is a very good way to test it at every step. 
and 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 if you basically run through this loop and and figure out the entire thing the that is the answer that is how this algorithm basically works and then you return true um i'll just run this program once to show you how it works and that's your answer um so this is how the algorithm works and this is a very so it's a very simple algorithm it doesn't really require a lot a lot of you know a lot of processing power um, so thanks for watching guys. I, I, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please like share and subscribe to the channel if you like the content and uh, I will see you in the next one. Peace.